Unit 2. Unit 1. But it's much better to basically use the map, to be honest. You also have uh, additional uh, things you can do on the map. For example, if I select this one now and give it a waypoint, I can get an additional menu by right-clicking the waypoint and a new menu will come up. You will not be able to reach this menu through normal menus. And here you can set what type of uh, waypoint it is and stuff like that and unload get in and get out is basically for in infantry getting uh, in and out of vehicles and stuff doesn't work perfectly I think seek and destroy is usually the one I use you can also set uh, several uh, uh, waypoints by selecting units and holding down control you can put uh, uh, a lot of waypoints also you can set a waypoint to, for example, uh, if you set the waypoint to a certain status, it will do that until the waypoint is cancelled. You can cancel it in two ways. Right clicking it and selecting cancel waypoint, which will basically remove it and using the waypoint menu. Waypoint menu. Waypoint menu. Waypoint menu. Like that. The only way you can cancel a waypoint in the middle is basically to use the, the right click. Uh, other than that, you can go into uh, notes and you can see that. You have different menus for different stuff instead of direct commands. So you can, for example, say Unit 1 Unit 1 Unit 2 Formation menu Now I set them into line formation Open radio Action 0 units. I'm gonna put them into uh, contact and similar to a real-time strategy game you will see icons on the map and you can order them to attack them by left clicking and uh, similar to uh, similar. You will also get them in the target menu. Unit 1 target enemy. Turn, turn the profile on first. Unit 1, target enemy. But since I don't have any targets right now, they won't show up. So let's see. Yeah. Waiting for orders. There we have one. And that's a tank. Oops. Just lost my helicopter. Okay. I'm gonna use Waiting this tank. Orders. Attack that tank. Standing by for order. Unit 10, target enemy. And that's basically what, uh, what you do to attack him, similar to squad command. Uh, there are two ways to find out if you. Damn it, I lost the tank as well. To um, know if you're losing troops. Basically, the icon disappears, the whole unit is destroyed. Uh, you look at the percentage, percentage, which it now went down to 77, meaning it damaged. 100% means it's 100% uh, functional, 
and uh, damage could either be loss of crew or that the vehicle uh, is partially damaged and stuff like that. The third way is to use the Citrep menu. Unit 8, Citrep. Hey, unit 8. Unit 8. Citrep menu. I, as you can see up in the right corner, it will show how many men and what kind of vehicle it is. This is basically an armored personnel carrier and it has three guys in it, which is only the crew. Unit 2, Citrep. This, on the other hand, is an uh, infantry squad. It has a total of 30 men, one squad leader, fire team leader, etc. etc. And you basically just use that to win. Combat ready. To win. That, that basically covers uh, uh, high command. Uh, it's pretty e easy to use once you get used to it. Uh, it has some limitations because like you can't order them to scan your eyes and stuff and so sometimes it like seems like they don't notice enemy troops that good. So a general tip would be like if you are spotting for them with the binoculars and stuff. Binos on. You can um, you can view an enemy soldier. <laughs> That's probably not an enemy. And if you hold the right mouse button, you will transfer that uh, that sighting over to the AI. So that's pretty useful. Binos off. Okay, I think that covers it. So, um, see you later.